We're gonna take one for our brochure. Give us an extra. Hey, don't worry about it. We'll look the other way. Seven year inch. Oh, landmark building, look to the right. Now it's the only property with a statue above. If you're looking at the Art Deco Board of Trade. The statue is quite appropriate. It's Ceres, she's the goddess of grain. Appropriate above the Board of Trade. If you're walking on LaSalle Street, the structure dominates the end of the block, which is actually a canyon of banks and bank-related businesses. Architectural firm again, Holabird and Roof. I think they're the oldest architectural firm in the country. They're still in business. But that building's important to all of us, really. Because every day, in that building, the price of corn and wheat and soybeans and cattle and hogs and gold and silver and metals and you name it. The Chicago Mercantile Exchange, which is there, the Chicago Board of Trade. The price is set at all of us on a daily basis. Attractive structure, in my opinion, designed by the New York firm of Cohn, Pedersen, Fox. Now, it's somewhat in the shadow of the Willis, but that office building attracts your attention at night because the towers above, they hold up hundreds of fluorescent lights. I guess a little bit too much so. A few years ago, they had to temper or lower the brightness because migrating birds were having quite a difficulty and they were losing the battle getting into the building. It is said to be the tallest building in the world without a name. It is only known by its address, which is 311 South Wagner. That fact made. Now, 